Colonel Softball is off to a 6-1 and one start this season. Peyton Vermeil, Megan Landry, two of the key reasons why the Colonels have experienced so much success. You were third team all-conference selection last year in your freshman season. She hasn't allowed an earned run in 17 innings this season with the Colonels. Why are you two so able to just get off to a hot start and make such a quick impression early in your careers? Well, we just put a lot of time and effort into it. We knew coming in that we had to like make an impression for ourselves being freshmen, as I was a freshman last year and she's a freshman. We knew we just had to get out there and get our opportunity, and once Coach gave us our opportunity, we had to make the best of it and go forward with it. And once we had a spot or trying to fight for a spot, we just kept looking forward, and that's where we began. Megan, you're supposed to wait your turn. All right, as a freshman, <laughs> you can't throw a no-hitter in your first start and get a shutout. You can't go almost 17 innings without allowing an earned run. Why, why have you experienced so much success so early in your career? Um, I think we had a great defense behind. You know, it's not just the pitching that gets the no-hitter. It's the fielding. You know, you, you, um, you have to make all your plays and, you know, not allow the other team to have the opportunity in order to get a hit, you know, give them more at-bats and everything. So I think a lot of preparation went into it and, you know, a lot of guidance from older girls, you know, telling me how it's going to be, what to expect and everything. Not only did you hit 362 your, your freshman season, but you became the leadoff hitter. I and mean, you've been the leadoff hitter in six straight games this season. Uh, when you look at your friendship with Megan and the advice you can give her, what was one thing that, that you really took away from your freshman year that you want freshmen this season to be aware of? Well, it's a lot of pressure being, um, especially my lead, uh, freshman season, being a leadoff and center fielder. Like, it was a lot of pressure. I was never expecting that. I never played out before in my life, and I never was a leadoff batter. But... Um, I took the pressure. I think I handled it very well. And, like, her coming in and telling her, you know, like, she's in the dugout, and I'm, like, telling her when we come in from the inning, she's like, oh, okay, come on, Peyton, get a hit. And, like, we go back out there. I'm like, come on, Megan, like, bear down, get through this inning. So it's, like, it's a lot of – we have a very positive team, I feel like. So we're like – we build on each other. We help each other out. So that's where, like, the pressure dies down because it's all smiles and laughs in the dugout, you know. Things happen. Things go wrong, but we blow it off and we get through it. It's such an easy game when you feel at ease and you don't feel that pressure. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Knowing that, that you have someone here who you've been friends with for eight years of your life and going back to summer ball and, and the Patriots and, and having an opportunity to really get to know one another, how has that background, how has that friendship made an, an impression and an impact on your season? Well, I mean, it definitely gives you confidence, you know, that you have a friend on the team that you already know, that you're already comfortable with. And coming in, it just kind of felt like home because you just felt so you know, comfortable with everyone, like, you would accept it right off the bat because, you know, I know Peyton and she knows everyone else. So it's like, you know, we have a lot of common ground and that really helped out. Okay, you're on, let's say you're on the circle, she's at first base, she's stolen five bases already this year. You had nine all of last season. How are you keeping her off second? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> that would be a tough one. In, I mean, in scrimmages, you know, in practice, we go head to head and it's like, sometimes she gets a hit, sometimes I get her out, you know, so... Yeah. Uh, to, yeah. to make such a, a noticeable improvement so early in the season, I mean, to have nine stolen bases last year and to have five in, in your first seven games, uh, how have you been able to make such a drastic improvement and, and obviously getting on, on base almost the same amount that you did last year? Well, that's what I like look for is the first thing when I get on base is my job as a leadoff hitter is to get on base, you know, set the table for the game, set the table for the inning or get people in if I'm in an RBI situation. But if I get on base, that's the first thing I'm looking for if the next base is open is for coach to give me that green light signal that says go and the immediately when he gives it to me I'm trying to get the biggest jump I can to get there like as a slapper or just someone with a little bit of speed that's what you look for you're like you want that you want to get on first base and you want that signal that's your favorite thing in the game you know softball is life for you too and it's obviously such an important sport to your family and, and your cousin Bailey being an all-conference all-SEC player at LSU what does this game mean to you um, it means a lot, you know, it means glorifying God. That's what our family is, uh, you know, based around. And that's me and Bailey, you know, that's Peyton's attitude toward it too. So it was very special, you know, in order that he gave us the gifts and we get to go out and, you know, live and glorify him through it. The background that you two had and, and being the excellent recruiter that you became throughout this entire process when you two were communicating and you're letting her know what, what softball is all about at, at Nichols, what what stands out when you reflect on the first wave of conversations that you had to signing day when you became a colonel to now pitching four games, winning two, and, and having a 6-1 and one record on your first season playing with Peyton? You know, it's kind of like we always dreamed about it, you know, playing travel ball growing up. We always, you know, kind of entertained the thought, what if we play college together? You know, what if we're roommates one day? And it's like now, like, we are living the dream, yeah. you know? Just, and the constant conversation about the sport. As coaches, they must love that because it's just in your mind all day, every day. 
when, when is softball at its most um, a, a conversation between you two and, and really what are those conversations like? Well, that's like all we talk about. Like we're going to be your roommate next year. So like when you go home, for instance, I live with Jessica Taylor right now. And when you go home, that's the topic of conversation. Like this is your job. This is your everyday life, full-time job. And you just go home and it's topic of conversation. And there's a time and place where it's not the topic of conversation. But so I'll boss your job and this is what you do every single day. And you love it. And that's why you continue to talk about it and communicate because that's your way of getting better and talking with other people about it. Well, what a start to the season. And is it still a little surreal that you pitched no hitter in your first start? <laughs> yeah, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and a shutout. Offense loves Megan Landry, by the way, that you get 11 runs in, in your first start, six in your second. <laughs> hey, get, get, give me nine runs every game on average, and you'll probably pick up a lot of wins. You can thank Peyton, by the way. Leadoff hitter at 400. You're tied for the team lead in hits and plenty of improvement. What's the next step for Colonel Softball? Um, I think this weekend we're just going to go out there. We're just going to, you know, brought what we had yesterday and brought from last weekend and build from it. We should have a 5-0 and weekend this weekend, and that's why we usually think about things. We don't think about who's going to beat us and who's going who we're playing. We think about us and things we should work on because you can't always control the uncontrollable. So you just control what you can control and build from there. Peyton, Megan, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Colonel Softball in Montgomery this weekend, and this is Colonel's All Access.